Hey everyone and welcome to the first in our series of Stronghold Warlords videos at Firefly Studios. In the coming weeks and months we'll be releasing fresh gameplay, Q&As, behind the scenes features and more as Stronghold Warlords moves into alpha, beta and eventually releases worldwide next year. For those that haven't seen it yet, we released our gameplay reveal as part of the Kinda Funny Showcase at E3 and you can check out the full gameplay reveal which was released on our YouTube channel in the description below. And of course, our pre-alpha reveal was just the beginning. As we move from alpha to beta, you can expect to see plenty of updates here on YouTube as we add core features, units, mechanics, visual polish, and new animations. Today, we'll be looking at a few classic Stronghold features you can expect in addition to the new Warlord system. So today, here are seven features you can expect at launch in 2020. You heard it here first. Our beloved scribe will be making his long overdue return in Stronghold Warlords. While this won't be the exact same charming Brit with that delightful grin that you've known for over 20 years now, Warlord Scribe will be a distant but familiar cousin. We realise now that many players were sad to see the Scribe leave after the original Stronghold Crusader, so our goal here is to retain his trademark humour, style and detailed economic commentary. Rest assured then that a brand new Scribe is on his way in various areas of the gameplay. Expect lots of criticisms of your Lordship as peasants leave the castle under what will be brutal taxation policies I'm sure. Moving on, we have a series staple returning in Stronghold Warlords in the form of two siege engines that have a place in any Lord or Lady's castle crushing toolbox. Ladderman and Siege Towers haven't been given too much love since Stronghold Legends, so we thought they'd make a welcome addition to our growing cast of units in Warlords. Allowing players to create epic castle sieges is a huge priority at Firefly, and we want you to be able to go over or through walls however you want, or to just throw diseased animals at the problem. Jesus Crikey. It's important in any Stronghold game to balance attacking versus defensive power, and these classic units should fit in nicely with our new siege weapons and improvements to castle walls. After all, the best way to keep things balanced is by giving you more strategic options, and with gunpowder, you can just burn down a siege tower and everyone in it. Isn't that a lovely thought? Whether you're planning to be a wholesome and generous leader, or just going full King Joffrey, we've got you covered with the new Fear Factor and Good Lord Bad Lord system. For those of you who aren't familiar with the Good Lord Bad Lord system, it's essentially a mechanic that allows you to inspire fear or love in the hearts of your followers to make them work harder for you or fight harder for you. Build a selection of Asian-inspired torture devices and your peasants will work harder for you and produce more goods, with the caveat of a sizable popularity hit. Conversely, if you're happy with your castle economy but want to boost your troops' abilities in combat, you can build opera houses and tea gardens to boost your popularity and morale of troops on the battlefield. We perhaps got a little too carried away researching the various inventions and contraptions of peasant relations, but at least you can spec plenty of weird and wonderful buildings in Stronghold Warlords when it comes to whipping your castle and army into shape. Not really too much I can say here without giving it away, and we want to keep some things under wraps until we're ready to show them off. But perhaps I can give you one small teaser. Please tell me, how much is enough? How big does this pile have to be? If you've been following Stronghold videos here on YouTube, you'll know that castle life is a huge priority for us with Warlords, and with the new setting comes a new range of possibilities for unforeseen customs and behaviours from your peasants. Not only will you be able to tax, torture and treat your peasants as you see fit, but they'll also be fully voiced with our trademark Stronghold humour, and they'll be fully animated as they go about their lives in your castle. So prepare yourself for sharp wit in the form of feedback from your peasant populace, children playing with their parents in the streets, new animations and other little details that bring your castle economy to life. Walls are a huge part of what makes Stronghold Stronghold, and we've always been cautious about balancing them in our games. In Stronghold Warlords, we're going for a more defensive stance than in Crusader 2, mainly due to design goals and player feedback from previous titles. In Stronghold Warlords, we're making a few key changes to move things away from the fast-paced skirmish gameplay of Crusader 2, hopefully resulting in longer, larger-scale siege battles. In general terms, walls will be stronger than before, easier to construct, and understand in terms of resources, with one piece of wall being one piece of stone. See? Simple. As an example, you can expect troops to be knocked back and damaged when under catapult fire, but not immediately killed. At the same time, you can expect it to take longer for this top layer of wall to crumble, meaning that defenders have more time to react and regroup. And yes, strong walls will be included. You can also now build walls up and along terrain, meaning you can create your very own Great Wall of China. Just don't have Matt Damon on this one, please. Here I am. Yes, here you are. 
For those of you who aren't aware, Stronghold 2 added estates to the game as a source of raw materials and goods. The new Warlord system is essentially what our lead designer Simon Bradbury originally wanted to do with the estate system. Warlords takes the estate system further by giving each vassal or warlord its own perk, specialities, characteristics and in-game abilities. In a skilled pair of hands, warlords allow you to dominate the entire battlefield by launching remote attacks, bolstering your castle economy and buffing your forces. Grand strategy elements are rare in RTS games, which is why we're building on a core stronghold element that we know works in the core gameplay. So there you have it, seven classic Stronghold features coming to Stronghold Warlords. We have a few top secret modes and announcements to make, but we'll wait for those at a later date. By balancing old school Stronghold gameplay and features with new mechanics and units, Stronghold Warlords is designed as a significant step forward for castle sims everywhere. If you like the sound of these seven classic Stronghold features, you can wishlist the game right now on Steam to find out exactly when it comes out. And of course, subscribe here on YouTube for more Stronghold goodness every single month.